See the USA in your Chevrolet. America is asking you to call. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA. America's the greatest land of all. On a highway or a road along a levee. Performance is sweeter. Nothing can beat her. Life is completer in a Chevy. All right, really quick update. I don't know how quick. In bringing the body out to match it up and redrawing all this stuff to give me that extra inch and a half out, I actually have to move, I have to split it right up the middle and move the whole thing an inch and a half in. Now that tape measure is actually an inch and a half thick. Um, I clamped one of my uh, yard sticks to the front of the body lines and I'm looking at this gap here. And the reason I have that gap is because I have it pushed out so far. Now, what I did is I made her fat in the middle. She's got to come in an inch and a half. But at the same time, you got to get rid of that. That should be straight right there, and it's not. That'll also make up for that three quarters of an inch. Now, the front gap's getting better and better. I do have to make the holes in the A-pillar post bigger so they'd be uh, slotted. Uh, I have the exhaust manifolds off. They're in the back of my wife's car. They're going to be uh, TIG welded and sandblasted and all that stuff. And when that's done, I can start connecting the cherry bombs up under the frame, through the back, probably make a corner and come down out the side. That's really what I want to do is have it come out like right here. Whether it's legal or not, I'll have to look it up, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um... When the B pillar and the A pillar and the doors line up on both sides and everything, uh, what I'd really love to do is trim out these wheel wells because these were just like temporary hold me because there was nothing there at the time. And uh, you can see the gap here. I'd like to tub it into that point. Not ridiculous, but up to that point. It's like an inch and a half. So that's probably going to move in when I pull the A pillar, the B pillars in. Um, did a lot of work yesterday. I'm going to clean up a little. Uh, what else was I doing? Forget. I'll have to get a windshield cut, but not right now. I'm going to use 3 sixteenths plate for the B pillars. They're right there. They should actually fit now because I narrowed the whole thing an inch and a half. Um, this big one I might not even need. But I'll get those sandblasted too. Then I can come over this side and start fixing these hinges and messing with these doors and these B pillars. And see the gap on this one? There's nothing. There. I pulled it out an inch and a half on the other side. That's kind of way off. I got to finish my LEDs. I did find my third gauge. Um, I have the three cheapy gauges, and I just noticed that it wasn't a full set of four. It was only three. I don't know why you sell three, but it's here. Where is it? It was a thermostat gauge. I put it down somewhere now. Awesome. I forgot where I put it. Oh, I think it's in the wife's car. But, um, I got three cheapy black gauges that I could put in here for now. And, like I said, finish the LEDs. All this stuff still works if I have my key, which was right here. Um,. I'm not going to cut my steering wheel. This is actually wired to nothing. I'd like to wire that to a start button, but I've got the key. Don't really need it. Uh, if it was running, the heater works. Uh, the temperature gauge thingy, adjusting thing would work. There are a lot of neat options, stuff that I bought here and there and found here and there. And I gotta pick up my gaskets. <clears throat> Don't wanna lose them. Not yet. But uh, I think I'm gonna clean up right now. Mess with the other hinges. Hmm. That's it. I'm drinking vanilla coke and eating crackers. I'm measuring uh, changes for the door for the B pillar plate again. This will be the third time, but you know got to do it. I moved the body lines up a little because as you can see they don't fit exactly in the notches. Now what I did is it's clamped to the frame 
and it's sitting on the body where it goes on that shelf. Now I moved those holes in, I moved the lines in, I made it the width of the door, I kicked the bottom out an inch and a half. Now I just got to move it all inward because all those adjustments kind of screwed with the width of it. It is cool though because it looks really fat. Gave it a hell of a curve. But the problem with that is there'll be a right here there's like a three quarters of an inch gap here there's an inch here there's three quarters I'm, I'm pushing out a curve so this ends up with a big gap so that's gotta go up front I have about an eighth of an inch lean out and here it's about an eighth inch below but we haven't messed with the hinges really I'm gonna plug the key lock holes and the handle holes and all that stuff um, my bottom edge now is going to be huge. That is that frame rail is five inches, and I've got another good uh, bottom edge ride's nice. But I think I'm going to end up reskinning this door with something else. I don't know what yet. Excuse me. Um, but once that bottom edge is done, the panel will be the height of the frame on the lower edge. This one's already there. Now I'm out of gas. i got to get gas for the welder, and I'm hoping to do that tomorrow because the place isn't open on the weekend. I mean, you'd think a Saturday they'd be open a couple hours anyway, right? But i got to shut my key off. Is it off? All right. I thought I'd smoked my coil the other day. A curl of smoke came from the coil. Come to find out I was just overheating it because I didn't have it on accessory. I had it on ignition. That's awesome. But I checked. It's fine. It does have spark. That's it. It's uh, I'm, I can't wait till next weekend. It's a four-day weekend, and I'm hopefully going to be right here. We're doing a big yard cleanup from winter, and, and then I'm free. Maybe I'll get them hinges done before next weekend. But uh, I'm still not worried about getting it running. I want those exhaust on there first. Uh, I'll think of what I can do right now. There's always something to do. Always. Hinges, rockers, all kinds of stuff. It never ends. Even when it's done, ask Rich, it never ends. There's always something cool you can get or something you can add on. Or... But uh, I'm going to see if I can find something to do right now. I'm farting around. Look how fat she is. You're real fat in the middle. She's got to come in an inch and a half. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to do what I can. Take some pictures. I'll let you know what's happening in the next little recording and uh, having fun Mr. Peak had asked about um, the body there's really nothing left to it it's all folded into itself. There's a hundred holes in it. Got some running boards. The wheel wells are rotted to death. Just not worth a damn. But if you want it, it's here. I don't kick things over. Look how rotted she is. All this is leaving. I keep saying it, but I haven't done it yet.